The Indian Coast Guard executed this exercise to raise awareness of the task that they perform. They took regular people, news organizations and media out to the sea to demonstrate their exercises and highlight how challenging they are. The IG Indian Coast Guard Eastern Region Donny Michael stated in an interview with DD News that this exercise is being conducted after a prolonged hiatus. Corona and other internal issues forced them to halt this exercise but they are now beginning at it again. ICG maintains tight links with numerous federal and state agencies including the police, fisheries, customs and port authorities in order to carry out its wide range of mandates. As its eyes and ears out at sea, ICG is also actively involved in fostering solid working relationships with the coastal community, particularly with the fishermen. In order to achieve this, the Coast Guard regularly hosts community engagement events in fishing communities around the coastline in order to raise knowledge of safety procedures and maritime survival skills. In addition to this, he said, Coast Guard Eastern Region has again started a day in ship program which is meant for common people and other media personals to get to know more about Coast Guard's working style and what do they do. Sir, it's after five long years, almost after five long years, Coast Guard have started this, yes. uh, you know, the day in she, uh, sea. You. What was the reason to stop this and what what you are expecting again when uh, after restarting it? Actually, Coast Guard uh, actually now is celebrating its 48th rate raising year. We are a service which renders uh, service to the crew at sea and also to the fishermen and also we engage with the general public in all spheres of activity. We want to tell them that and also assure them that any assistance that they require from sea that we are there to providing them day, night or 24-7 basis. It was started way back and then afterwards uh, it was stopped in 2018. After that the COVID struck. In COVID uh, even the ship crew was struck. So we have to isolate a crew in the, within the ship itself. So, so it's not advisable for the public to come and we also uh, did not take that risk of engaging the public who might have different, you know, uh, kind of uh, immunity uh, um, lowered and so we don't want to, you know, compromise anything on board the ship. The chairman of the port itself from this port and inner port also they came and also from many other dignitaries from different organizations. So they also want to see what is actually Coast Guard is doing at sea. And this is uh, an opportunity for us to showcase uh, our prowess. I specifically want to know that Indian uh, National Center for Coastal Research and National Co uh, Institute of Ocean Technology. So is there any specific plan Coast Guard is working with these agencies? Yeah, one of our chartered role is to provide, uh, you know, support, assist uh, any uh, organization who are involved in, uh, you know, research activities at sea. So NIOT is the primary organization. We have INCOIS, International Center for Ocean Information System. We have um, that uh, you know Coastal Research Center. We have Fisheries Institute. So many things are happening. So we go extra mile again to take the scientists. To, or they say some of the boys are drifting. We go and bring uh, you know those boys here to repair again. They place it over there. So this kind of things actually you know it happens. In keeping with the 48th Raising Day celebrations of the Indian Coast Guard, the ICG Regional Headquarters held a day at sea on February 25 off the coast of Chennai. On this particular occasion, a number of esteemed guests were invited to sail on ships to observe operational prowess and ICG skills at sea. These guests included families of ICG personnel, officials from Tamil Nadu State Administration, Port, CISF and civic and private organizations. Eight Indian Coast Guard ships carrying roughly 1,500 people set sail from Chennai Harbour for half a day excursion, marking the beginning of the event. ICG ships, planes and helicopters displayed a variety of evolutions displaying the operational capabilities of the Marine Force once they were safely away from the harbour. These varied activities started with the interceptor boat maneuvers at high speed, formation maneuvers by big ships, two Coast Guard ALH helicopters conducting simultaneous search and rescue operations for twin survivors at sea and a low pass over by CG Dornier aircraft. By lowering a simulated target into the water and having ships use guns of various calibers, including the recently introduced completely remote-controlled SRCG gun, ICG also showed off its capabilities. The event also demonstrated the ICG ship's maritime firefighting capabilities and helicopter aerial replenishment operations. The guests on board were ecstatic to see such expansive operations which are rarely seen by members of civic society staffs. 
One of the biggest coast guards in the world, the Indian Coast Guard, is tasked with protecting people and property when they are marine. In the Indian Exclusive Economic Zone, which stretches up to 200 nautical miles from land, ICG is also tasked with defending the nation's economic interests. In the 4.6 million square kilometre Indian Search and Rescue region, ICG is also the designated agency for maritime search and rescue operations. As you may know, during the most recent floods in Chennai and Tutricon, ICG was able to save over 700 lives. Many central agencies where they help these agencies for their research and uh, other engineering work. With camera person Suresh, Ritesh Ranjan, DD News Chennai.